Hey guys, Matt here in my home garage and today I got a new upgrade. I got the 36 inch motorized bead roller. For many years I've been using the 24 inch bead roller and it has served me very, very well. Uh, but I've been running into some projects where I was doing larger panels that I needed to get towards the middle of the panel and the other bead roller was just running out of throat depth. So I got myself this fancy new 36 inch bead roller. I'm excited to unbox it and uh, show you guys how it works. So I'm gonna get the straps cut, get the crate all pulled apart, and we'll start putting this thing together. All right, so I got the bead roller all uncrated and uh, it's just sitting on the base of the crate here. Now this thing is pretty darn heavy, so uh, this is going to something that's going to be hard to assemble by yourself. So I think the way, since I am by myself, the way I'm going to do this is actually um, you can start seeing where the bolts go for the for the, uh, the base here. So I'm going to start assembling the base and then try and attach the base to this, and then we can stand it up. I think it'll make it a little easier. So I got all the parts unwrapped here that are nice. All the hardware is in one nice bag. So I think if I take all the, all the braces and everything out and assemble the base on the floor, then we can put it to the top and hopefully flip it up by myself without causing any uh, pain to my back or damage the tools. So I'll get this base all put together next. All right, so that was a quick little demo showing assembling my new 36 inch large motorized bead roller that I just put in my shop and showing you guys how I used it to create the strengthening beads in an inner door structure that I'm building for my Model A Roadster. Now with my smaller 24 inch bead roller, even though I had the same dies, the same motor and same function, it wouldn't have had the throat depth to make those corners to make that big square box design in the center that mimics the original. So with this bead roller, it came just in time because I I was able to produce those beads without having to cut the part and weld it up and make it out of multiple pieces. I was able to make it out of one part, put all the beads in it, bend the edges and get it fit into the car so I can keep moving forward on making my new doors. If you want to learn more about all the bead rollers that we have, you can click the link down below or you can visit eastwood.com to get all the tools you need to do the job right. Thanks guys. Catch you later.